procedure for sand casting. We demonstrate how to make a product using the sand casting process. We need to produce a spoked flywheel. There is a hole at the middle of the product. In order to produce that hole, we use a core. In order to support the core in the mold, the core seats are required. The additional projections called core prints are provided on the pattern for making these core seats in the mold. The pattern is made in two halves. The top half goes in the cope and the bottom half in the drag. We start the process by placing the drag upside down on a molding board. The drag side of the pattern is placed in the drag upside down. Facing sand is sprinkled on the pattern and the area of molding board inside the drag. This is to prevent the sticking of the moist sand on the molding board and the pattern. Now the sand is filled in the drag. The sand is thoroughly rammed and the excess sand is leveled off. The vent holes are made using the vent rod. This is for the escape of any gases generated in the mold when the molten metal is poured. Now we carefully invert the mold and place a drag in its normal position on the molding board. We place the cope over the drag and lock them in position using align pin. The cope half of the pattern is placed over the drag half of the pattern. Again, we sprinkle the parting sand on the pattern and the sand. This is to prevent the sticking of the sand in the cope and drag and also to avoid the sticking of pattern of the molding sand. Now we place the sprue and the riser pin. The sprue pin is placed at a small distance away from the pattern. The riser pin is placed on the pattern. Now we fill the sand in a cope and ram it properly. The excess sand is leveled off. The vent holes are made in the sand. Now the riser pin and the sprue pin are removed carefully. The sand is scooped out from the top side of the sprue to make the pouring basin. The mold is opened for pattern removal. Before the pattern is removed, we cut the runner and the gate manually. The draw spikes are now inserted into the hole in each half pattern. The pattern is lightly wrapped and then carefully removed. The surface of the mold cavity is cleaned if any sand debris is left. The sand core is placed in the mold. The mold is closed and locked using align pins. It is now ready for pouring. The metal is melt in a furnace to the pouring temperature. The pouring temperature is a temperature sufficiently higher than the melting point of the metal. The molten metal is poured into the mold so that it fills the cavity and comes out of the riser and sprue openings. After the solidification, the mold is broken and the casting is taken out. The sand core is removed. The extension on the casting, that is, the riser and the gating system are machined off.